Okay. I guess I will have to write a lot here. Uh, but let me kind of explain to you the concept of an external table first. Uh, and then we will see the syntax and everything else. Uh, this is now your database. Mm. I am drawing a logical diagram now. This is a database called as focus1. Inside the focus1 there is this uh, schema called as user A. There is another schema called as user B. User A is logged in and he creates one table using the create table command that is an object that gets created inside his schema he creates another table that gets as created as an object inside his schema now where is the data getting stored where is the data getting stored now we know the data actually gets stored on the hard disk here in the table spaces so this is that table space let us say our data file for that table space the first extent of this table let us say table is t1 here the first extent of that table is here, the second extent of that table T1 is here and so on and the data file will become full. This is what we have seen. The second next uh, for this table T2, uh, you know, maybe it is in a different table space, maybe. And then there would be three uh, extents for this table. So the point here I'm trying to make, whenever a object, a table object is created inside a schema, the extents are getting allocated at least one extent gets allocated when we create a table first and then as data get, is getting added more and more extents are getting added all this stuff is sitting inside a table space and table space is nothing but a data file okay it goes it is going inside the data file this is something that is happening now there may be a situation where people will give you a text file a flat file a comma separated file a pipe separated file all those you know one and the same thing there and then they will say okay load this data and, and do some analysis okay load this data into a table so this is the file that you're gonna get now this is the hard disk okay let us say now this is all database stuff on the second hard disk let us say you have that one data file okay now this this is not the data file that I'm talking about the database data file this is a file that contains data the comma separated data so how does this look like okay so if this looks like 101 okay and then uh, there is a user called a shaker and the city is let us say Pune okay that is the 101 the fields are separated by commas then there is uh, 102 that I have okay what is the name there Rama and then he is also from Pune and then there is a 103 then two commas that means there is no name and no city also and then there is a 104 uh, with, a, with a with a long name you know uh, this is my last name and then this guy is from Bombay so likewise there is data in this file this is what I am drawing from this file and then you have to do the analysis of this data you have to find out how many people are from Pune how many people don't have the uh, the name how many people are from Bombay this kind of analysis you have to do are there any duplicates so to do this kind of analysis uh, we will be loading that data into a table and for that SQL loader is going to be used and we'll see SQL loader a little later but instead of SQL loader there is another trick which is the external table that means you will keep the data right here the data is still here on the hard disk and, and you are just going to create what is called as a link from this to this and that link is you can say as an external table the external table is basically it's a table it looks like a table and you can do a select uh, statement from that it, it has columns you can describe it but actually data is sitting outside the database the data is sitting outside the database it is not in one of the data files it is not in one of the table spaces it is it is basically not in any of the extents it is just a simple flat file it is simple text file maybe the name of the text file is a.txt a.txt that is where the data is sitting and we are going to run one command called as create table which will actually point to this data file and then we can do a select star from that table the name of the table could be a the name of the file is uh, is, is a.txt the name of the table could be a so what is this this whole external table thing external table in a summary now is a is a flat file which is having a specific format in this case it is a comma separated flat file a flat file which contains some data which actually can be accessed to what looks like a table inside the database that is what an external table is and once you create a flat file like this 
then you can access the data in this flat file by typing the select statement select star from A what will you see you will see three rows and suddenly if I open this file in VI or if I open this file in notepad and then I delete one of the rows here and save this file and then come back over here and say select star from A how many rows will I see two rows because one was deleted so actually whatever data we have in the flat file is being looked upon as a table from this side if I if I go and type one more row here again I will see three rows when I say select star from A that is what this uh, whole external table business is so what is the advantage of doing this thing advantage of doing this thing is you just type a simple command create table I will show you the syntax now and boom the, the link is created the data is already sitting here so there is no wastage of time to load the data inside this table and coming into this thing if this file has 1 million lines then yes just create an external table and you have a table with 1 million rows there no need of loading data because data is not going anywhere from anywhere it is sitting right there so can you execute a DML statement from you cannot huh? that is a limitation you cannot execute any DML statement only select statements okay so that is that is a limitation if you want to actually get rid of one of the rows you have to open the file delete that line and then save it Hmm, external table only in the CSV format. External table can can be in CSV, can be in the pipe separated, can be a fixed length. It can be anything. Yeah. It can be anything. SQL, SQL loader. Just like a SQL loader. Just like a SQL loader. In fact, we will see that the program which talks, uh, or or the correct word is the driver, the driver program which is actually creating this external table is a driver called as SQL loader driver which is the same driver program used in the actual SQL loader while loading the data we'll see that later so that is a driver program uh, so this is the concept of the external table and now we'll see how to create the external table and, and I think that's it so point to remember here external table does not occupy space inside the database it occupies the space outside the database uh, second point to remember is no DML operations are allowed no DML operations are allowed huh. no inserts or deletes or updates So now, uh, want to stop? Okay. Uh, okay. So let us let us see the syntax. Uh, I'm gonna use my notes here to give you the correct syntax. Create table. I'm creating a table called as A here inside the schema UA for a file which is a.txt. For the file which is a.txt. Okay. So now I'm going to say how many columns were there? Three columns. So I'm going to say ID as num ID as number. The first column was number. Then uh, name is uh, varchar2. Now what should be the size of this uh, varchar2 depending on the highest length of the data. So assuming that this is kind of 10. And then finally city. City is equal to again where care to 10 so this is the table normally you would have just created a table like this with a semicolon now you're gonna go one step beyond and you're gonna say organization external you're gonna say organization external and then you're gonna specify something here I don't know if I'm gonna find enough space to do so you're gonna type about the driver so uh, type is oracle l o a d e r this means this line means that the driver program that we are using to create the external table is of a type oracle loader there is also one more driver which is used for export import but we are we are focusing only on the oracle loader driver which is the same driver program used for sql loader then uh, default uh, directory default directory is the name of the directory object is the name of the directory object 
in which this data file is sitting okay so we have seen what a directory object is directory object is basically we, we specify in our uh, you know uh, export import command you know we created a directory object you know create directory uh, abcd uh, as and the name of the directory so create directory abcd as and the name of the directory so i will i will kind of uh, specify that here uh, so you have to before you do this thing you have to create the directory object so create directory name of the directory is let us say dr1 as and you are going to specify slash temp slash uh, data so this is the directory object that needs to be created first the name of the directory object is dir1 which is again nothing but a kind of pointer or link to the actual directory and the name of that actual directory is slash tmp slash data okay so this is step number one step number two you need to give the right permission to that directory okay so grant read comma write on directory uh, name of the directory is dr1 to to the person who is actually creating the table so you can give it to public also uh, not a good idea but uh, you know uh, to public will give it to almost everybody so any person can write a file inside that directory whose name is dr1 so in reality the file will get created in which directory slash temp slash data slash temp slash data if you go and type ls minus l command in slash temp slash data you will see the files so what is so what is the main purpose of creating this thing our a.txt data file is sitting inside the slash temp slash data our a.txt which contains the actual data is sitting inside slash temp slash data so now we are going to say type is oracle loader this is the driver program default directory is dir1 default directory is dir1 so it means my data is actually sitting in that directory and then I'm gonna say access parameter and in that access parameter I'm gonna specify okay I'm gonna specify the actual format of the data the format of the data as we had seen earlier was fields were separated by commas so fields were separated by commas so I'm gonna specify records delimited by blue line each uh, record that means each row is delimited by a new line that is the enter and then the fields fields terminated by by and uh, we have comma I think our fields were terminated by comma okay so this is this is probably good enough so this uh, the, the, this access parameter can become extremely complicated so this is like the simplest access parameter that we can have this is where you can specify the fixed length file this is where you can specify optionally terminated by all those things uh, that we'll see little later on in the sql loader business so this is what the access parameters are that means this is the format of the data in the data file and then finally the most important thing here since I don't have enough space or maybe I will, I will write it down here is the so there is the starting parenthesis uh, here okay the starting parenthesis is here then uh, this is a one more parenthesis and that ends over here okay so this is the ending parenthesis here and then after that you're gonna say uh, location is name of the file is a.txt this is kind of very important and then this will end over here so this is the starting and this is the ending so uh, location a is uh, location a.txt that means get the data from a.txt file which is sitting inside the dir directory so this is the syntax for the uh, create table uh, of this is of organization external now once the table is created there is another file that gets created in the same directory and that is called as a log file that is a log file and then the another file that gets created third file also gets created that is called as a bad file okay we'll see about the bad file and the log file when we talk about sql loader but uh, bad file will have the bad data because this a.txt may not uh, may not contain all the good data good data in, in, in what sense anything which is more than 10 characters is bad data 
anything which is not a number in the data file is a bad data. So all that bad data will be actually shifted to another file that will get created and the extension of that file will be bad dot bad. Uh, and, and that discussion we'll see during the SQL loader also. But this is how you create an external table. And then once the table is created, after that describe table A, select star from table A, you can join that with any other table. All that stuff can be done as, as if this is a real table. As if this is a real table. And again the restriction is that no DML. No DML. So it's a pretty uh, simple and straightforward business here. Now uh, DBS, where would DBS use this external table business? Where can DBS use the external table? I don't know if I have that example here. But, uh, ah, yes, I uh, yes, yes, I have, a, I have an example here. Yes, I will show that to you. See, there is this alert lock file, correct? Alert lock file is a very important file and we can do analysis of the alert lock. How do you do analysis of the alert lock file? Let us say how many times the ORA message has come in the alert lock file. How, do you, how would you do that analysis? You need to know the Unix commands. Okay, grep, grep, ORA and this thing. If you want to know how many times the database was started up and shut down, you know, again the grep command. So to do the analysis of the data inside the alert log file, alert log file is where? In the BDUM directory. You need to know uh, Unix commands. So instead of that, you can create a external table for that alert log file. You can create an external table for that alert log file. That means each line in that alert log file will become one row in your table. Each line in that alert log file will become one row in that table. And then once it comes inside that table, you can write whatever SQL you want to write. Okay, so I will show you how, uh, how that, that whole thing is done. Uh, hold on, do I have that alert log here? Append load data, append into table, please terminate it by. I think I, I don't uh, need that, that is a different thing. But here, create table, create table, let us say alert underscore log. Uh, then here, I'm just going to say line, where care two, and I will give you maybe a big line number. That's it, that's my table, only one column. Okay, only one column. And I'm going to say organization, external, and then uh, once the organization is external, after that, uh, what is the direct default directory is uh, is data, <coughs> or, or what a default uh, you can say B dump. Now BDUM is a directory object that you should create first. BDUM is a directory object that you should create first. And where would that point to? To our background dump destination directory. Okay, so that step has to be done. BDUM directory. And then what? And then after that you don't have any, uh, you know, fields, access parameter, you don't have any. And just location. Location is going to be your alert. And name of the database is, let us say, focus dot log so what has happened here now is you have created a table called as alert log there is only one column in that table the name of the column is line and the entire file is actually now can be looked as if I say select star from alert underscore log select star from alert underscore log so driver, driver, should be mentioned. Huh, driver, okay, driver should be mentioned type yes I, I think I made that Type is equal to oracle under, not is equal to type oracle underscore loader. Yeah. So driver is missing, uh, which comes here, right? Uh, I need to look at my notes again. Uh, default directory, uh, even here. Yeah, organization. organization. Uh, type is equal to oracle underscore loader. Okay, do this thing and, and that's, uh, I think in the access parameter also you will have to write records terminated by new line. I think that's the only access parameter that you need to write because each line is getting terminated. So, in access parameter, records terminated by new line and no fields terminated by something because only we have one field. 
we have only one field which is the intact line. Okay, so uh, uh, should I write that down here? Uh, access parameters is, is that uh, not fields record records terminated by new line. Okay, that is the access parameter and then location is alert lock. So you can then write select statements like this, you know, select uh, count star from alert underscore log where line like SQL, take a, take a select uh, count star from this alert underscore log where line like percent uh, ORA <coughs> dash percent. So this will give you all the Oracle error messages. Or if you want to look for certain specific error message like deadlocks or uh, unable to extend temp table space. So that kind of analysis can be very quickly done by writing SQL statement instead of writing the grep commands. So this is where uh, DBS can use it. It is heavily used by developers.